Today we're gonna do highest and lowest. Highest priced property in Kailua and then the lowest. Right now we're gonna start off in Kailua town just to kind of show you a little bit of why everybody loves this neighborhood. So here we are. This is kind of like the hub, the center of where everybody hangs out. We got grocery shopping, we got all kinds of food, dining, cafes, a gym, yoga, uh, Whole Foods, down to earth, which is like Hawaii's sort of vegan shop here. One of the main reasons people like Kailua is because outside of Honolulu, outside of that downtown Honolulu Kaka'ako area, you're not gonna be able to achieve a walkability like this one. So we're gonna kind of cruise up and down this street, show you kind of just the close proximity of everything so that you can see why people love Kailua as much as they do. To give you kind of a reference of walkability, lowest priced property today is gonna to be on Aoloa Street, which is the condos that way. It's probably maybe like a half a mile, maybe, I know for sure under a mile. 10 minute if you're kind of cruising going slow on the left side of the street here we have a plaza that has different you know little food shops uh restaurants it's kind of like my little like uh i would call it maybe my like my breakfast nook central in kailua because it's got my favorite morning brew but it also has donut king which is like everyone's favorite donut shop you're gonna see people lined up there you know for a good half hour to get all these different um like bacon donuts, yeast donuts, donut holes are really good there. They have like a croissant style donut hole. So this is kind of a cool little breakfast stop if you wanna go. We cross the street and we're gonna hit all of the shops in Kailua that most people are hanging out at. All right, so we're kind of at the cross street here. Um, across the way is the plaza, back this way is all kinds of shopping, but I wanted to take the opportunity to show you as well because if you keep heading down this way, you're gonna head into residential. Single family that way, also the condos are that way. We keep going this way, more Malka. So Ocean is behind me, Makai. We had more Malka. We're gonna continue to run into all of the different shops that are here, including, you know, like Target, which is another big thing that people are trying to go to all the time. So just to kind of show you, you know, I've been walking for a few minutes now and I've already passed pretty much every shop that I would need to. Mahina, everybody's always asking me, where'd you get those pants? Mahina, that's the store right there. If you look at that orange dress, I just bought that dress yesterday, so. <laughs> Such we a saw, Hawaii we thing. We saw how many like, people we know already. Yeah. Target directly there. Come around. Here's your post office where you're going to maybe get a P.O. box or you're going to pick up your big parcels. That area with all the breakfast spots that we talked about. Morning Brew, Donut King. This side, which is kind of like the mall, you know, the, the main kind of spot in Kailua. Down to Earth, UFC Gym where I work out if I'm on this side of the island. Behind it, we got an Ulta Beauty. Behind that, we got a Whole Foods. Beyond that, we got a Core Power Yoga. Beyond that, we got a Food Land. We got barbecue. We got all kinds of food that you could possibly want. This area is gonna have all the coffee, all the food, all the clothing boutiques, all the gyms, everything that you could possibly need right here within a five minute kind of walk around this block. You're gonna have whatever you need and you're super close to the condos that way. You're super close to Keolu Hills that way. That way on that side is Kalama Track, Coconut Grove, if you're looking more single family home, that area. Wherever you are in Kailua, wherever you land and you decide to buy or live, this little main hub is gonna be super close and accessible for you. So if you're on a bike, probably about 10 minutes from here, that way to my right, you could definitely walk it. As long as you're not carrying all of your crap with you, you could definitely walk over to that beach. I would suggest bike. Kailua is a big biking town. A lot of people on beach cruisers here, and you can see why. You could pop your backpack on, leave for the entire day, hit the beach, put a towel in your backpack, go eat, go shop, go do whatever you want, and then go right back home. Oh, I forgot, there's a Long's Drugs here too. You also got a pharmacy. My other half lives in Kailua, so I begrudgingly hang out here all the time. I'm a North Shore girl. You, you guys already know that about me. Kailua, I understand the draw. It's amazing. The more time I spend here, the more I like it. Originally, I wasn't a fan, but that's because I'm from the North Shore and we battle. Thank you, Ati. Crosswalk, choose the crosswalk. That's the thing, Kailua, choose the crosswalk, please. Okay, because I just did what I'm always angry at people for doing. Like, yeah, I get it. It's a walking town, blah, blah, blah. But that's why we have crosswalks. So use them. So down to earth, this is like the uh, organic vegan option for groceries. Um, they also have a really good hot bar. Where our new office is coming up, we got a down to earth near that as well. So we like down to earth, check them out. They're gonna have all of your organic uh, vegan style supplements that you could ever need. A beautiful hollow tree. When I come to Kailua, I'm always kind of like finding new things that I didn't know were there. 
Um, I had a, an appointment here yesterday. It ended up that I had like an extra half hour and I walked past this place and it's called uh, Waxing the City, I think it's called. Got my eyebrows done. So literally anything you need, you can stumble upon here in Kailua. So we came from the backside parking lot of this little plaza. We wanna kinda just show you a little bit of the street side cause this is where a lot of cool stuff is. So Maui Brewing on that side. California Pizza Kitchen over here. That way is Whole Foods. Hot bar, they have actually like a restaurant area too. And I know that some of the ladies in there watch the YouTube, so how's it going guys? Lani Kaiju, so this is a popular one for like post hike grinds. Acai bowls, smoothies, different fresh juices there. I would check them out. Okay, let's use the crosswalk and cross the street. Just as a reminder guys, I know we say it all the time, but it's true, we're not too busy. Please fill out the contact form, give us a call. I'd love to see you guys on a consult hit us up. All right guys, so we just turned in off of Hamakua in Kailua, which is one of the main roads where all the shops were. Uh, we turned on Aoloa here, and this area is kind of where a majority of all of the condos, not a huge condo game in Kailua, but primarily this is where they're all gonna be located. Right now we're about to show you Ko'olau Vista, which is where the current lowest price property is in Kailua active on the market today. Ko'ola Vista, I believe, has three buildings, A, B, C. The most affordable, the lowest price one right now is in A, but we're gonna cruise by C since there is a garbage truck on that side. Just to keep the noise away, we're gonna hang out over here. They're all kind of the same, the buildings are the same. We are a three minute drive and 10 minute walk from Kailua Town where we just were. The lowest price right now is 648,000. It is just over 750 square feet inside the living space, it comes with two deeded parking stalls. It's a two bedroom and a one and a half bath. Good thing about this area is most of them, I think maybe all of them, but most of them will come with two deeded parking stalls. Now, if you are somebody who is maybe house hacking, you got a roommate who has an extra car, you're offsetting your mortgage by having somebody rent out one of your bedrooms and you need an extra stall, can be kind of tricky out here. Um, right now it's midday, so the street parking is all right, but once people are off of work, I do know that the street parking can get pretty packed. So that's something to think about too. If you need that extra stall, you're gonna be kind of gambling of whether or not you make it home in time to secure a street stall. If you're like a car person and you're like, oh, I really need a garage, or uh, you know, I got a really nice motorcycle I wanna keep covered up. You might not be able to accomplish that here. Most of these stalls are gonna be uncovered, and if they are covered, they're gonna be partial like this back here. You're a car buff, you need a garage, probably not gonna accomplish it in these condos here in Kailua. Not so many amenities, not so many things, you know, to do within the actual complex. No pool, nothing like that. Maybe just a little bit of grounds area. Not quite sure what their association rules are, are on grilling and things like that. But the benefit of that is your HOA fee is not as high as it could be. So I think the HOA fee for this unit, the two, one and a half is just above 500. Um, not too bad considering some places in Honolulu and downtown, you're over $1,000 a month in HOAs. The tighter your HOA is, the less they're gonna want you to be putting things everywhere. Um, sometimes you gotta sign up for a lockbox. It doesn't really look like they're that strict about it. I mean, fact check me, check with the association, but it doesn't really look like they make that big a deal of uh, leaving your lockbox here. All right, guys, so now we're gonna check out the second highest priced property in Kailua. The highest highest is close to 30 million and not really an area that we can access super easily. So we're gonna go to the second highest, which is in Lanikai. We are on Lama Place, which everyone knows where Lanikai is. Everyone is like, you know, has this very uh, distinct idea of what Lanikai is. Not a lot of people know that Lanikai actually goes up into the hill, more Malka side. So this property is actually not beachfront. It's further up the mountain, closer to the Malka side. And it is listed at 14 million. $800,000. Llama Place has looks like it's got a mixture of, you know, some that are older and more original, some that have clearly been completely remodeled. This property, the highest priced property, it's been on the market for a very long time, I think like 675 days or something. Um, but when I was reading in the remarks, they actually just finished construction this month. So February 2023, everything's completely redone. As you can see, we're trekking up a hill. So probably one of the reasons why this property is priced as high as it is, is because the further up we go, the better your view gets, right? So the way they're perched up kind of at the top of this place, we are gonna hit the end of it and it's even further back and higher up. So that puts it in a position to be looking over, you know, kind of towering over all of the other properties in Lanikai with a pretty clear cut, straight shot view of the ocean. Not too much of a surprise, but with a property priced the way this one is, 
it's gonna be a little bit harder to access. We can't just roll up on it like we might be able to at a condo in Kailua, but beyond this gate here is where that property is. So this is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. The living space, the inside living space is about 4,500 square feet with a lanai of over a thousand square feet, probably maximizing that view with that elevation. I think the real question is who wouldn't buy in this neighborhood? Pretty much everybody would love to. Who might like something like this would be somebody who loves ocean view, doesn't like ocean traffic, doesn't like passerbys. It's really kind of up and out of the way. So more exclusive up here. Oceanside, a lot more busy. Malka side, a little more private. This is the highest price property. Sorry, second highest price property in Kailua right now. So one benefit to not being on the beach side of Lanikai is you can actually park your car on the street. So I know that's kind of like a big point of contention for Lanikai residents is with that public beach there, Lanikai, all beaches are public, right? But Lanikai just so happens to be one of the most world-renowned beaches. We got people in Lanikai all the time parking on whatever street they can. If it's allowed for them to do so, they will. So Lanikai, hard to street park. But in this neighborhood, we don't really have people trying to get beach access, so street parking. Thank you for hanging out with me today in Kailua. We did lowest price condo. We did second highest price single family home in Lanikai. We did a little bit of a walk around in Kailua town. Most people are kind of looking for something in the middle of these two. If that's the case, I'd recommend checking out our other videos. It is Kailua. It is super desirable. It is beautiful. So it is what it is.